Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares. The first uh, square A, B, C, D and the other square uh, E, F, G, C are put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, the distance uh, between uh, these two vertices uh, D and uh, E is uh, 5 uh, units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, smaller square A, B, C, D. And I'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, x since all the side lengths are uh, equal so this side length has got to be x uh, x uh, and x uh, across the board and now let's focus on this uh, other square efgc and i'm going to label its side length uh, as y if this side length is y and all the side lengths are equal so this side length is going to be y y and uh, y across the board and now let's focus on this uh, green shaded region. This green shaded region uh, consists of uh, these two triangles, ABC and this other right triangle, uh, EFC. So therefore, we can see that this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual areas, uh, triangle ABC area plus uh, the area of the triangle uh, CEF as well. So therefore, we are going to focus on the area of the triangle uh, ABC and the area of the triangle uh, CEF uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. We are going to take care of uh, its area. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times the uh, base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle ABC is uh, X and the height of this uh, very same triangle is uh, x as well. So therefore, uh, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, x uh, times uh, x. And if we simplify that thing, is going to give us uh, x square divided by 2. So thus the area of the triangle uh, ABC could be written as uh, x square divided by 2. And likewise, uh, we are going to take care of uh, the area of the triangle uh, CEF. We are talking about this triangle uh, CEF. And once again, we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle is Y. And the height of this triangle is uh, Y as well. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, CEF is going to be a half uh, times the base uh, is Y and likewise the height is Y as well. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, Y square uh, divided by 2. So therefore, uh, the area of the triangle uh, CEF uh, could be written as Y square divided by 2. And now let's recall uh, this equation once again, the green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABC plus the area of the triangle uh, CEF as well. And here we figured out uh, the area of the triangle ABC as uh, X squared divided by 2 and the area of the other triangle uh, CEF uh, as uh, Y squared divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So therefore we can write uh, X uh, square divided by 2 plus uh, likewise uh, y square divided by 2 and we can see our least common denominator is 2 so therefore we can write them as x square plus y square divided by 2 so therefore the green shaded area could be written as x square plus y square all over 2 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number one and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ECD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, the hypotenuse uh, of this triangle is uh, 5 units. 
whereas our two other legs uh, are uh, x and this uh, leg uh, is uh, y. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, y square is going to be equal to our hypotenuse 5 square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, y square is going to be equal to 25 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation one and equation two. And now we are going to compare uh, these uh, two equations. And from equation one we can see our green shaded area equals to x square plus y square all over two. And from equation two, we already figured out our x square plus y square value as uh, 25. So therefore, uh, we are going to substitute this uh, x square plus y square value as uh, 25 over here. So therefore, uh, we can write this green shaded region area is going to be 25 divided by two. And if we divide that thing, that is going to be equal to 12.5 square units, the area of this green shaded region. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 12.5 square units. In other words, the area of this green shaded turns out to be 12.5 square uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye